What's forensic document examination? We're talking about forensic document examination as something from a legal perspective. We, exa we examine documents for legal purposes. It's a comparative analysis. That's why we're going to talk a little bit about California code. We'll talk a little bit about for, uh, federal rules of evidence and just get a sense of what is a document, what's writing, and so on. Idea is that simply authenticate documents for legal purposes. And I'm not going to read these to you. You can pick up the code books. You can read on your own. But the whole idea is we, as document examiners, authenticate. We, we make sure that something is what it purports to be. And when we talk about our writing, this is really interesting because California Evidence Code Section 250 defines writing. If you read the definition, you'll see that an audio recording can be a writing. If we look at the definitions here, it says pictures, sounds, or symbols. Therefore, writing is not just like you pick up a pen and scribble something on a piece of paper. When you type on your computer, it's a writing. When you doodle, it's a writing. When you take a picture, it's a writing according to California Evidence Code. So we as document examiners, we have to look at many different types of writings. Now, if you called me to do an audio analysis, I'd gladly give you the name of someone who, who could do that for you. That's not me. I'm not trained in audio or video analysis. I know people who are. Who could do a really good job for you. So the point is that when we talk about a writing from a legal perspective and we say we authenticate documents, it's really important to understand it's not just this piece of paper. The other part is we ask for originals. If we look at the standards, it says that you, we need to get the original document if it's available and examine the original document. The question is, what is an original? Any ideas from your perspective? If someone says, I want the original, what does that mean? Maybe they have personal contact with the person that was I mean, the, the, the doctor was actually with that person, whatever it is. With that person? With the person that was with that person. Okay. Is this an original? No, no it's a copy. It's a copy. Could it be, or, could it be an original? It has a, yeah, yeah, so it has someone's actual name. Okay, so it has actual handwriting on it. But let's look at the definition of an original. It could be a counterpart. It doesn't have to be the, the first generation. But we'll talk, we'll look at this from, the, this is California Code, Section 255, but we'll also look at it from Federal Rules of Evidence perspective. But when we look at Federal Rules of Evidence, Section 1001, when we talk about a writing, it, all of these are writings. This is from a rubber stamp. This is someone signing. Well, this is a QR code. But the QR code can be a writing, because remember, in definition, it says symbol. When we talk about writing, it's really, really important to talk about writing, an original. What do we mean by it? In document examiner parlance, when we ask, about, ask for an original, typically we are asking for the document that has the person's ink signature on it. Yet, there are times when I get, as an example, in contracts. Oftentimes, the contracts are on what are called NCR form, or no carbon required. So the vendor gets the white copy, you get the yellow copy, someone else gets the pink copy, and so on. Is your yellow copy an original? But by definition, it probably is. Just because it doesn't have the actual ink on it, you someone signed on it, and it just did an impression, and the ink bubbles in the tape, non -carbon, no carbon required paper below, popped and caused the signature to appear. So oftentimes when I'm doing work with contracts, that's what I'll get is the yellow copy of the NCR form and we treat it as an original. Genuineness. Notice the genuineness says it can be proved by a comparison made by an expert witness. 
as a document examiner, that's part of what I do is expert witness work. I have to go into court and testify. How did, what was the methodology I used? Why did, did I arrive at the opinion I, I came to? The judge, or the trier, back the jury, will determine whether or not I've proven the genuineness of that document. Also, it can be stipulated by both parties that this person, this document is real. So, let's look at Federal Rules of Evidence definition of an original. This is, a, this is an example, for example, when I work with an attorney, typically what will happen is I go ahead and email a, 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 a blank contract to them. What they will do is they will, they will print it out, they will sign it, they will scan it, email that scanned copy back, scanned document back to me. I'll print that, sign it, scan it, email it back to them. Now I have a cop I have an I have a document that has my original ink signatures on it. The attorney has a document that has their original ink signatures on it. We both have an electronic document that has images of both <coughs> signatures on it. And that's what we see here. Is it an original? What would you take to? If there's a problem, could one of us print this, take it into a court of law, and say, Your Honor, here's the, here's, here's the contract. We have a contract. Or, or would it be thrown out because they said, well, that's, it doesn't have two ink signatures on it. That According to this, what? Any printout that accurately reflects the information. Exactly. So it works as an original. So the definition of original really de determines whether or not what's your intent. If you go to someone's office, sign a contract, they sign it, they make a photocopy of it, give you, give you the photocopy, they keep the one with the ink signatures on it, you have a counterpart, and guess what? You have an original. They have an original. But from their perspective, you have a copy. And that's where, when we look at the notes in the federal rules, the notes get into that and talk about, depends who you are, depends what your intent is, as to whether or not you have an original or, or a counterpart. So, quite interesting. Or a duplicate, as defined in code.